hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new we have got another what's for dinner for you guys this is where i share all the meals that we had this past week we had a lot of summertime recipes trying to keep the house cool and cooking outside or using the crock pot let's get into it First up, we were over at my mother-in-law's and we just did some hot dogs and some mac and cheese. We knew we were gonna be over there. We had some work that we had to do for her and so we just brought supper with us and I cooked it there at her house. Super easy and we didn't have to worry about spending the money to eat out. On Monday night, I did pesto chicken tortellini. Now, this is something that I seen on TikTok. It came up on my For You page, and I cannot find it. <laughs> um, so, this isn't the exact recipe. This is just kind of what I come up with from watching that TikTok. But to go along with that, I'm going to do some squash. We are have been getting a bunch of squash and zucchini from my sister-in-law. Um, so, that's been our go-to veggie to try to use it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just got some butter there and I put my squash on and then I just seasoned it up with um, some of that Mr. Sticks garlic and herb seasoning as well as some Kinder's red garlic. I'm going to go ahead and get my chicken cooking. I've got a couple boneless skinless chicken thighs that I have just diced up and I've got that on with some melted butter and then I just seasoned that with Kinder's red garlic and Mr. Sticks garlic and herb seasoning. I will have my link for the Mr. Stick seasoning down below. It is super delicious, but we're just going to get that cooking up and then we will add on our tortellini. I wanted to mention that I did already cook the tortellini inside and it's just drained and cooled. So that way it's already cooked and you're just going to heat it through once you mix everything together. Now that the chicken is cooked through, you're going to go ahead and add on your tortellini. That's just one bag of the cheese tortellini. I'm sure you could use whatever you wanted. And then I'm going to add on about a tablespoon of minced garlic, a few bacon bits, and I'm just going to start mixing that together. And then we're going to add in some pesto. I didn't measure the pesto. I just kind of added it till I thought the color looked good. And I have to say, this was super, super delicious, perfect for summertime. Here is what it looked like when it was all done. This was really good. It was something different. We normally, you know, stick to the same, same-o, same-o, but it was nice kind of changing it up. On Tuesday night, I fixed a big pot of Sloppy Joes in the crock pot. I have shared how I make my Sloppy Joes before. I will try to find a recipe video and link it down below for you guys but if i can't find one i will be sharing this in a couple weeks in an upcoming crock pot video on wednesday night we did a build your own subway bar i just laid everything out and everybody could just make their own sandwich For Thursday night, I did Italian chicken pasta. This was one of the recipes that Luke requested for the week. I have shared this many times on my channel, so I will have the video linked down below. To go along with it, I did fix some easy Cheddar Bay biscuits. I'll have that recipe linked down below as well. And I made some cookies and they were so good. Here is my plate. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. On 
On a Friday night, Luke normally grills, but he didn't get home till late and he was exhausted working out in the heat all day. He said, babe, I'm ordering pizza. I said, that's fine with me. We got a cheese stick, a cheese and bacon, and a meat lovers. We are ending this week with some Philly cheese quesadillas. Y'all, this was a winner in my house. I knew I had ground beef thawed out, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with it. So I just looked through the fridge and freezer and pulled out what I had. So we had some onion left over. I pulled it out, chopped it up. We also had some frozen bell pepper. So we're gonna use that with the ground beef and some seasonings, as well as some random cheese packages that we had and some quesadillas. So that is the quesadilla portion. And then for the side dish, I had some zucchini left for my sister-in-law, also had some bacon. And then I had um, two sweet potatoes, I only used one. But I went ahead and kind of got that started cooking inside before I did it on the Blackstone. It's better if you kind of get it started inside before you take it outside and cook it because it, with it being a potato, it will take forever. So I knew the squash wasn't going to take that long, so I went ahead and did it inside, which it all turned out perfect texture-wise. It was so good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and get started on cooking up my ground beef, and I'm just adding in the rest of the peppers and then quite a bit of the onions. I did save some of the onions for my veggie mix. But I'm just going to go ahead and get that cooking up, chopping up, mixing together. Now I did end up going in and grabbing the other pack of ground beef. I couldn't tell if it was going to be enough. And then I knew whatever was left over that I could just put in the freezer. So which I did have some that I was able to put in the freezer. So now I have already cooked, seasoned ground beef ready to go for a future recipe. So while that, while that is cooking up, I'm going to go ahead and start my bacon. I'm going to give that a couple minutes on the Blackstone before I start adding on my veggies because that's going to take a little bit longer to kind of get it crisping up. Now we're going to go ahead and add in the rest of our onions, the potatoes, and the zucchini. And I'm just going to season that up with some salt and some of the Mojave garlic, John Henry, and the Kinder's red garlic. All of those seasonings are always linked in my Amazon storefront, which you can find in the description box. And then I decided to add in a couple tablespoons of butter. I waited to do this because I knew that the bacon had a lot of bacon grease. And so I kind of wanted to see how it was cooking up first. If I thought it was kind of sticking, then I knew I needed to add some butter. And I ended, did end up having to add butter. Now that the ground beef is cooked through, I'm going to go ahead and take a paper towel and kind of soak up a lot of that grease. Just like you would inside if you would like cook it on the stovetop and drain it kind of doing the same thing but it's just way easier to use a paper towel than to take it all off and scrape it to the back. Ooh, I caught that one. Goodness gracious. We're going to stay back over here. Okay, this is a fun adventure, y'all. Now that I've got y'all set back up, I'm going to go ahead and add in some W sauce as well as some steak sauce. I didn't measure, just season with your heart, however much your family likes, especially of the steak sauce. You know, you could definitely add more if you wanted it more of a saucy meat mixture. Um, but just that, I would say I added a couple tablespoons and it just gave it some good flavor. Good way to get dinner cooked <laughs> outside, but it is stressful because I'm not used to it. 
but got everything almost done the veggies are looking good the meat is done i'm gonna go get something to put it in and then we're gonna build our quesadillas Now that it's time to build the quesadillas, I'm gonna go ahead and butter up the blackstone, get the quesadillas laying down. And I wanted to mention that I have this on low, as low as it will go because it's already super hot from cooking the ground beef. Otherwise you will burn your quesadillas by the time you get them built. <laughs> I'm gonna add on a few cheese slices to each one and then I will add the ground beef, give it a couple minutes, flip it, and then if it needs to be flipped back over to toast the other side, I do so. Here is what it looked like right off the Blackstone. This was so good and definitely a new family favorite. And that's it guys, that wraps up today's What's For Dinner video. I really hope you enjoyed these super easy and delicious weeknight dinners. Hope it gave you some inspiration to cook more for your family at home. Just remember, it doesn't have to be fancy, just as long as your family is fed. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.